Welcome back to Nino Kuni. Oh, oh, there's hilarious! Oh, 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 She's laughing! Like a flipping drain! Tidy! Drippy man, we're all set! Wait, do you lot all aboard? Aboard? Aboard what? Here I go, boys! Let the mission to Lamb begin! One of you give us a light, will you, man? Launch command received. Roger, Roger that. that. Hold on to your hats. We have ignition. Ow! Three, two, one. Blast off! <laughs> So? All you're in one piece? One pile more like. All right, no need to get in a tiz. It's the only way to get in here, innit? Oh, this takes me back. Look around you, my friends. This year's mummy's tummy where it all started. I like this level. It's brief. It's a, it's brief. It doesn't overstay its welcome. It's got a cool design to it. And listen to this cute music. Yeah. It's the, um, it's the town theme, but play it on a recorder. <laughs> I really need to buy a recorder so I can play along with Kazoo to have the two lamest instruments of all time. <laughs> so what we're doing in here is basically, uh, she's not sure why, but she's apparently hearing there's some trouble here with the babies, so uh, inside there's monsters inside of Mummy's tummy here, so we need to get rid of them to save the babies. This main area of it is 2D. We can kind of move Oliver around in 3D, but he only goes left to right. So we go off into these little doors, and then we discovered that the littlies, the little babies, the reason they're not coming out is because they're being terrorized by monsters. Specifically an elephant slide. Let's attack it. <laughs> we... Oh no, it's a old prospector. Old prospector that likes doors. I don't remember this monster. Neither do I. I got different monsters when I did this. Well, there are other different monsters. But I think this is the only time we ever see this guy. Please tell me you catch him. I don't think I do. I don't Aww. think you're allowed to catch any of the monsters here. You have to defeat them. That's a shame. I like an old prospector on the team. Yeah. That's probably weak as it is. Who cares? Gunther Point oh. It dances next to you in the battle, like... <laughs> <laughs> Oddly enough, pretty much every... And it explains why Drippy looks the way they do. Pretty much every baby looks just like an egg. Yep. So it feels like when they get older and they start to mature, they just start growing random limbs. Drippy was screwed because he grew, drew a big nose and... A lantern. And pierced its nose to be rebellious, I guess. <laughs> Which I'm okay with, I guess. I don't understand the ones that look like they have huge horns and a big ring. I, I feel like the ring was like a crown to begin with, and then became a ring because the horn kind of pushed it that way. <laughs> and see, there's a picture of that, that horned one on the wall. Oh, yeah. So clearly, Drippy's royalty. Load of shit. <laughs> Bollocks. Mm -hmm. Just fit the game's tone, bollocks. <laughs> so, there are no elephants in this world. I'm just going to say that now. <laughs> so, the slide thing makes no sense. Well, actually, there are. Well, there's el there, those elephant looking monsters, but they're not elephants, and they don't look quite like that. Is it is it just me or does this part remind you a lot? At least it reminded me a lot of uh, Yoshi's Island. A little bit, yeah. 
It's got that kind of fun, colorful thing, and you got the, you know these little eggs following you. Especially Yoshi's story. Yeah. It's so cutesy and cheerful. <laughs> what was that one doing? It wasn't even attacking, just hanging out. Just, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scaring them with my laziness. Oh, the shocky guys. I like those guys. That was what I was talking about that other time. Oh, okay. They're really good. We shall see. Bam with a rock. That's the ultimate acid test. Just beat it with a rock. <laughs> I think it's at Gunther. <laughs> Goodbye, Gunther. Apparently it's resistant to me. <laughs> see? What did I say? Goodbye, my friend. Nice I ended up putting, our, putting him on an Esther's team pretty much the entire game. I will consider it when I go back to recording this. Two years from now. Exactly. Not if it... Oh, look at the hop. As long as you don't get rid of um, a certain trumpet playing penguin. Oh, no. I don't think I do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I so wish we named him that. But that one just wants a hug. Hey, man, I want a hug. It's like those vibrating uh, manta rays and barman hero. <laughs> Referencing yeah. all back to the original clip play. <laughs> We've come full circle. Yes, we have. Enemies are just as stupid. I like that slaps you. Because there's this little fence, it's just be like an ow, jerk. Shit, I can't defend that. How? I'm surprised you still use that attack. This such little damage. Well, it does damage to all of them. Which is nice. It does look like he's <laughs> high-fiving him. <laughs> I totally would, Balloon Man. Totally would. You seem so happy. Yes, Trevish new crow in power. Are you just waiting to stuff that drop down at the proper time? So we, what we do, we just go into these rooms, and every time we've cleared out the monsters in there, another room opens up. But how do we know it's unlocked? How do you know that, Drippy? It makes a ka-chunk sound. Look at this dumb fucker. Plus. Here we go. <laughs> like, like they're jumping up and they're just like, I got a maraca and shit. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> you die first. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> Honestly, those guys are kind of a pain in the ass, so. See, I remember not properly level grinding at this point, so th this area is actually kind of tough for me. Yeah. It looks like it blocked the little shaker guy, even though I wasn't attacking him. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. <laughs> Reba, Reba. <laughs> Starts dancing in circles around you. <laughs> <laughs> well, all these creatures are beating it up. <laughs> like, they, that wasn't even like spells, they're just like stomping into the ground. <laughs> poor, poor bastard. <laughs> just want to party. <laughs> I almost wanted you to get one of those down. <laughs> Cause yeah, a trumpet player, a maraca player, you can call it the mariachis. <laughs> oh, we, we need to do that. You have a character that looks a bit like a guitar. After he makes Triceratops, holy shit! <laughs> How'd you get in here? Bubble level la bars. Boom. What? Let's Big motherfucker. He is actually one of the, um, one of the um bounties. He, bounties. Yeah. Yes. Again, I don't remember fighting him. <laughs> well, this is a really quick dungeon. Basically, once we fought this guy. We go straight to the boss. <laughs> like he gives a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Yep, he can punch. Or spit. <laughs> no. I will. You heal him. That's all you do. 
Or not. Maybe Mujo can do something useful. I'll punch it. Come on, I'll punch it. Clearly Esther couldn't. I'll punch it. Oh, yeah. I got it. Oh, I'll win. Got him. I'll win. I'll win. <laughs> <laughs> So like the lame. Yes! Mojo did it! <laughs> Hi -ya. I like, is that it while both of your other people are dead? <laughs> I could do this all day! I need a banana cushion! Shut up. And I nearly died too. Tidy, 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 tidy. So this. This thing has stomach chambers for its babies. Yep. With then they drew crayons all over the inside. Is it called Littlers? Littlies? Littlies. <laughs> Swain, will you shut up? <laughs> you know, sometimes I feel like Swain is supposed to be the audience surrogate, but he's such a twat that it doesn't matter. So here's the big joke that we can either get out the mouth or get out the ass. We're going out the ass. We weren't even where she had one, but yeah. And it's in her head. So that's great. <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> Just means she's a shithead. <laughs> <laughs> Better pun than any of these cunts. <laughs> Where'd the babies go? You can find punt and punt and cunt is punt. Oh, there they are. They're having a dinner party. <laughs> yeah, why are these? Why are there these adults in here? They have an emergency exit. <laughs> we can't go out that way. This is a heal spot, though. Literally, later on, once we've fought the boss, we can come back in through that way. I don't get it. Yeah. Just saving an empty save, whatever. This is the first time I watched you save in this game. What? I don't remember you ever saving in this game on this videos, videos before. I've done that quite a bit. I'm yeah, probably. It's been a long time since we started this LP, Travis. It really has. It's part thirteen. Now time to go down the butthole. <laughs> Tidy slidey. Right oh Come on, Lipleys! It's time for the slidey ride of your tiny, tiny lives! <laughs> well, don't just stand there, come on! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> what the? What is that thing? Knickers! That rotter of a squid's got our kids. What the heck? The Littlies! No way! We already saved them once. Sorry, Ollie boy, but the future of the fairy race is at stake. Ah, uh, do we have any choice? More of this. <laughs> I have a whole game of it! Ha <laughs> ha! So this is literally the epitome of me running around fighting this level by myself. Yeah. In this fight. Just fuck the rest of the guys on my team. So really quick, I'm just kind of learning what it's weak to. Go figure, the water monster is weak to fire! No, they're not used to it. Better block. And tell them to block her, or not. I don't even care. That or I forgot. You probably forgot. Either applies. It's the way they all get knocked down, you still get a nice! <laughs> well, thing is that they get knocked down, but I get a nice. Usually I get one of the golden glims. And if they're down, that means I get it and not them. <laughs> so there is strategy to this. Fuck the polings. <laughs> So the strategy for every boss is the same, guys, just saying. Yeah. It's good because it kind of forces all the characters to start, like, hitting hard, so that's why I use it a lot. Yeah. 
There is a cooldown time for both defense and attack. Sometimes just keep Esther around because Esther is a healer, so. See how it took him a little while to pull out the other familiar and then go into defense? Luckily, I did it quick enough that it didn't negate the defense, but it does do that. Plus, since they all blocked, he basically just pooped out a bunch of blue and green orbs. Yep. Really, just flank firing balls at its ass the whole time. I think that's pretty much the gist of this fight, except for uh, the second half. That's how most of this game goes for me until I get some really stronger spells later. Second half is a bit of a pain in the ass of this fight, so admittingly. Yeah. Same shit. Let's see if they remember to block this time! Good Yay. job, guys. Look at all that blue. Did we need and a gold! Go, 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 go. I'm... No, go, go, no, no, no. fucking go, go. I am fire. I am what it is weak against. Hear me roar. <laughs> Come on, make it stagger. Now, this is where it starts to become a little bit more difficult. Poops out babies. Poops out minions. Perfect timing. He just gets eaten by one of those jellyfish. <laughs> I fucking wish. Once again, Drippy's only purpose in fight is to come in and say, Hey, guess what just happened? Yep, now I'm gonna tell you what just happened. Uh, at least, once it pulls out the babies, it gets tired, so we have a chance to attack it. Hey, Drippy is not shout, at least. Close, but not quite. Well, Trippy has a personality. That's true. But that's kind of the problem, too. <laughs> See, this one just ends up killing a lot of the other characters because they just get hit by, like, a ton of those jellyfish dudes. Yep. And it's a, little, it's a little basic damage, but when ten of them hit you, it wears out pretty quick. Well, we can see Cut Loose. This is one situation where it is especially useful because they don't have that much health. So one Cut Loose takes out about a third of each of the little ones' health. Oh, 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 if I get that gold glim, they are gone. What the fuck? What? What did it do? Oh, there, there must have been two. Oh, okay. So, yeah, Mujo's golden glim is completely fucking useless. I think it's just a buff or something. His, his bulge just explodes. <laughs> like a bomb. That was strong. And they all poop out little glims, too. My babies! How did you hit me when you were attacking the opposite way? See, the only, that's the one of the more annoying aspects of that attack, is not necessarily the damage, but the confusion ability of it. Because you start getting attacked by your allies and bullshit like that. Yeah. See, your character's actually lived. I kind of fought that most of that fight by myself. <laughs> Ow. Easy. Was it now? You guys probably didn't do shit. Oh, the levels. I love seeing all of that experience go up after a boss fight. One of the, the simple pleasures in life. Uh-oh, that means something good. But I won't tell you what that means. <laughs> well, you might want to tell me, because I'm not sure what you're talking about. <laughs> you know, with a, an ability you get later. Oh, I think I do now. Okay. Still not telling all of you, though. Yeah. Lance will say it makes Oliver stupid powerful. <laughs> I feel like they're just yelling at Drippy. He's like, why didn't you tell us it was in here? <laughs> I'm sorry. Look how scarred up her stomach is. No wonder she's in pain. Oh, God, yeah, I never noticed that. It's just big gashes, shit. Where are the bubbles coming from? Well, they are going down to the anus. Ask a stupid question. <laughs> Get a stupid answer.
Okay, better question is where are they originating from? They just seem to come out of the ground. I, physiology, um, not really strong suit this game. And in the process of recording these last two parts, I've become aware that there's apparently more syrup in my hair than I was aware of. <laughs> there's syrup in your hair to begin with? Oh, they're coming. Oh, I can feel it. Oh, they're coming. At long last. Come on, my little darlings. I would love it if one of them jumped in and couldn't swim. <laughs> just tries immediately, and then it immediately cuts to a funeral. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> that that would have made this all worth it. It would. <laughs> this would be my favorite part of the game if that happened. <laughs> Look, we don't get points for being smart, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Tapir. Because I really like a Tapir. Because it's the, the way its skin tones are and its nose. Wait, which one are you talking about? Trippy. Oh. It's like Tapir. I just noticed that more when I looked at it. <laughs> I just say, because I'm not quite aware of what a Tapir is. It's an animal. Well, I gathered, but I mean... You'll have to look it up. Okay. Live recording research. Let's start describing it. It's an animal with a face! Hello. I wasn't talking very loudly, Ollie boy! Oh, I know what those are. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it does kind of look like one. Kind of same color, color palette thing going on. <laughs> I like how they're surprised again by this hotel. You just slept there, like, last part. <laughs> oh, Oliver. What's wrong? It's Philip. He's mean. <laughs> oh dear. Oi, Ollie boy. Don't cry, man. I'm the tear fairy, see? I don't like seeing them go to waste. You're a... a fairy? I am, and a proper tidy one at that. You talk funny. <laughs> That's how fairies talk, sweetie. But it's goofy. Oh, is it now? Well, I wish I'd known that before I made him for you. Nobody made him. He's my friend. Of course he is. I'm sorry. And I'm sure he'll always be your friend, no matter what. Come on now, don't be such a crybaby bunting. What would Mr. Drippy think? I'm not a crybaby bunting. Then you'd better dry those tears, hadn't you? Hmm? If this was in Oliver's head, the things... For example, like, uh, Shadar and everyone. The things that he wouldn't be aware of wouldn't be happening. He would be aware of them. Well, at the same time, if you look at the... Uh, I, if not, I'll talk about this later because this is plot relevant, but... Uh -huh. <laughs> but there's a point in the later half of the game that makes, you, makes me think it a bit. Even more, I'd say. Even more strongly. For those of you who are watching the edited version, we're talking about this being in Oliver's head. Yes. I felt the last scene had a lot that had some... It wasn't necessarily a direct explanation, but it's just one of those theories. 
it definitely does smack of it, this game. But I don't I don't think it was smart enough for it to really work though. Well to be fair enough, I seen the literal translation versus what the maybe this English group did with it. It might have been a much smarter game than they made it. <laughs> yeah. Which is sometimes a bad habit of certain dubbing companies is that they try to pander a certain audience and they pander to the wrong one. <laughs> yeah. Because let's let's just just be straight to the point of a game like this that has Sula Jibba's name attached to it, it's not gonna be made for kids. It's good it should have qualities that a kid could enjoy it, but most of the people that are probably gonna be playing it are gonna be older. People that who know who Hayao Miyazaki is. <laughs> Because honestly, a kid couldn't read all this. Let's just get straight to the point on that. Eventually, <laughs> <laughs> like, Mom, it's going too fast! A little off topic, but uh, the way that she's slightly um, whited out a little bit, like, she looks uh, like there's some distance between her. I wonder if she's, like, a model in the skybox. Like, maybe they're just inflating this certain area on the screen or something? Maybe. Or... Like, she's not an actual 3D model, per se. Or maybe she is, it's just smaller. Oh my god. Enough! Okay, yes. Thank you. Jesus uh, Christ! <laughs> well, that's good he got that. Oh, come on! <laughs> Butt cheek one, okay. Loaf of life? Poison apple. I'm sure you use that a billion times. <laughs> D, that's a lot of spells. Thank you. I guess you did use ones you'll never use again, so that makes sense. Funny you say that. Guess how many of those we actually use? Fuck all. Fuck all! <laughs> well, that jump was necessary. Good! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I do love how they phrase that, though. Drippy left you. <laughs> you just didn't show any commitment. Look at Mr. Drippy. Come on, don't go get it all soppy on me. Oi, I thought I told you to... <laughs> they are curb stomping him. <laughs> you sir. Ah, oh, you baby stole. That was my leg. Ah! <laughs> This has been the messiest Let's Play yet. I've now I just spilled water all over myself. <laughs> all over your syrup hair. <laughs> I got clean and fish bagger. <laughs> fish bagger. <laughs> Sindba. Oliver's chasing it, or uh, looks like Drippy was chasing after you. Oh yeah, that's a monster. That's not Drippy. Oh. <laughs> I'll be the new Drippy! Leave Drippy behind. Yes! Yes! Like, there's, like, even, but it's like, are you sure? Yes. <laughs> not like it matters. So, you think you're free. <laughs> but you have no idea. <laughs> that sounds like a first line of a song. So you think you're free. <laughs> but you're not the only one. <laughs> Ooh -wee. Oh! Mr. Drippy! Aren't you forgetting someone? Now I have an ability that's completely useless. I did like that. I want names, dates, times. <laughs> I 
Trippy as a character makes me think my theory has holds some form of merit. Probably one of the stronger points. I'm willing to believe it. Because he's kind of, he kind of used Drip... On our earlier cinematic stuff, he kind of used Drippy as a way of consoling himself when, it, when his mother died, so... And now Drippy won't leave his side. Remember we were talking about Drippy's useless ability? Here it is! <laughs> Tidy Tears. So, he has the ability of healing your party, your entire party, and I think curing stat status ambulance, which sounds like a great deal, but he picks when he wants to use it. And 95% of the time, he picks the wrong time to use it. <laughs> the Eye of the Storm. Until now, the use of this most ancient of magics was the sole privilege of the overseers of this world. Was it too much for you, perhaps? We granted you this privilege that you might finally dispose of the prophesied one. My apologies, your radiance. But the boy... He has a... Unique power. Perhaps. Or perhaps you simply lack the power to stop him. Perhaps... Apus. Forgive me, your radiance. Majesty, the boy is clearly protected by the most potent of magics. Who could it be? The sage, Alicia. I had wondered, your radiance. She who was foolish enough to stand against you. You think she troubles us even now, in the present? The power that protects him would suggest so. But he will need more than the Sage's aid to save the world. He cannot succeed without the weapon of the Ancients, the wand wrought by the Wizard King. Mornstar. Indeed. But we have no cause to fear its power. He will not find it. I have made that impossible. Making a wand disappear is the simplest of parlor tricks, after all. You mean to say you have rid us of Mornstar? I have. The most enduring symbol of the Wizard King's rule now drifts free of time and space. Mornstar. Fashioned in the image of our own Council's wands and bestowed upon humanity. Yet now, a mere hindrance. You are certain the boy cannot possess it? Not now, nor for all eternity. Mornstar. Chicken man's planning something. <laughs> One of the less douches of the douches. That douche council, I swear. They're always up to something. He's our douche. <laughs> He's our douche. No worries. Plot's happening, though, luckily. Fucking finally. <laughs> I think it felt like, look, I know we put you through all that shit with the, with the fairy land, so here's some meat. <laughs> yeah. Fairy ground, completely pointless. Served nothing to the plot other than the reinforce. Hey, Drippy's our friend. I don't fucking like Drippy. <laughs> what was I, I was kind of looking for is like, hey, maybe this will develop Drippy. It doesn't. No. We just know that Drippy taught a comedy troupe. <laughs> and that's it. And we know he's not Lord of the Fairies, which just means he's a compulsive liar, which makes him an awful friend. I'm your friend. Which means jack fucking shit, man. And we, we learned a ton of spells that we'll never use. By which we mean we can't use them. There are literally dozens of spells in this game that they never programmed in. Either they were taken out or they just never found a use for them. Like, I never use Poison Apple. You don't get to use it. <laughs> it's not an option. For anything? None of them. They don't even put it in your spell list. They just put it into the book. Nothing. 
So glad that they put all this work into a game and not all the work they need to put in this game. <laughs> really, though. I think most, if not all, of the spells were from the original DS Nino Kuni. So maybe there was a precedent for keeping them in the game, but not actually implementing them, but still giving us the pages in, like, this huge useless dump right at the end of the most useless part of the game just feels so damn cheap well it also feels like i know you hated this part so i'm gonna make you hate it more now and like i remember first time playing through this she just kept giving me spells like okay thanks ma'am you've given me plenty i'm really happy you're giving me all of this shit stop stop and it wasn't until recording for this let's play i realized you never use any of them <laughs> You'll find a way. Let's play her. I'm surprised I'm getting so worked up over this. <laughs> it's offensive! He's so offended on the pun land of fairies. Maybe that maple syrup in her hair is just messing with your head. But it smells nice. <laughs> Maybe your head asshole is like, I need to give birth to babies now. <laughs> I can't believe you mentioned that. Well, it's not relevant, but like I did some voice acting earlier today and... I said something <laughs> okay. oddly similar to that. <laughs> no, I thought you were just like, I did voice acting today. I played an asshole coming out of someone's head. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it is the giant head asshole versus the Olivia hole. Who will win? <laughs> I have yet to see how she plays video games, so we'll find out. <laughs> just quick, let's stuff more familiars in there. I'm going to be forcing her to play uh, Peace Walker with me. I might record it. Then have her have commentary. It's like, I don't know what I'm doing. Which is why I'm there. Huh. So, uh, the next part, we will finally go to Hamelin, which we've been trying to do. One of the other few cities in this game. And not ruled by a farm animal. <laughs> That's what you think. You would think that. Probably another stupid character I'm going to have to guess. Because I don't remember. <laughs> my mind of this game is so lost. I wouldn't say he's stupid, honestly. I guess not as stupid as the rest. Kind of nondescript, maybe. I do remember it just makes Swain look like an idiot. Which I'm okay with. Like, that was hard. <laughs> Took no effort. Great. Can we have something with Siri or something? Something to cheer me up. <laughs> hmm. How bad is Nino Kuni? Looking up Nino. Here's Juan Francisco Martinez Modesto. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you didn't disappoint me, Sarah, I guess. <laughs> well, I guess he's a soccer player. <laughs> okay. Uh, have her search of exploding head asshole. What can you tell me about exploding head assholes? on the web oh god exploding head syndrome <laughs> what <laughs> i'm gonna click on that shit <laughs> they have exploding head syndrome.net oh it's a band okay <laughs> <laughs> oh that made more sense now okay <laughs> that's even better uh, yeah. oh my god <laughs> <laughs> That's the best band name I've ever in a while. Oh. <laughs> Why is Mr. Drippy a piece of shit? Travis, your language. <laughs> okay, I'll think of it. Why does Mr. Drippy suck so much? Checking on that. Here's what I found <laughs> on the web. Motherhood uncensored. Why Mississippi sucks? <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck, Siri? <laughs> <laughs> oh my... Oh, my stomach. Oh. How do you heal an Olivia hole? <laughs> Checking my sources. Okay, I found this on the web. Do Monroe piercings heal without scarring or a hole? <laughs> OliviaHeal.com <laughs> <laughs> Olivia, why did you agree to date me? <laughs> why did Olivia date Thorn? Okay, give me a moment. My website 
research to turn this up. <laughs> Olivia Thorne romance novel. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I gotta read this. OliviaThorne.com. <laughs> Official site of Olivia Thorne. That is the name of an, an author that does romance novels. <laughs> including Rock Me Hard. <laughs> All That She Wants. That's scarily perfect. It sort of is. <laughs> Thank you, Siri. You bring back endless hours of amusement. <laughs> T- tell Siri thank you properly. Thank you for the amusement, Siri. That's nice of you to say. You sound so happy. <laughs> and stop recording. <laughs>